Go away. Kikbona! Kava tumpa kulpa iya moka paata! Chiyoka kutumpa kulpa iya! One. Oska! Chiska nichu! La hupa motenya go gigi piti! Kipuna! Kava tumpa kulpa iya moka paata! Chiyoka kutumpa kulpa iya! Two. Chiyoka ku! Kimba muli rabona ji! ヤミジュスキーチカナイウマバスカドアナチチョパムスカジスカダソキクパボナナチャチュウウネフドウランヌプラタドゴシルカシャチュウンアピケイ Go away. One. Two. Smart. Kavadumpa kapaliamo na pata, bona na kachu. Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun tong na bun shan nu yang. Ti un pa do un ta kita. Ak ti kondo ona chaba chisa wanki. Ti toki grantu kon chi chan kun green kan chan tu pro. Bok wala no bok cha. Ni chi kun chuba kin lo ta ika kun. We ti men bo rang thong. Nuli ra on shanturing um ni patoga wanga chon zi tse. Ika krotu haku jije, watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Mana mana tota haku ji krala bole ji chok. Shun tang, shun kipa un no panka muli ri kun kili, kun kili no ba. Wati monya la kona una kun muli ra. Tinku u kapa, topa no aska. Nisko na kava abaka. Kin kunshi kakchin awana wamata. Nishi la chorga kin kun pala mona reji. Ching pala niska mule dun rata tigin po drunko. Dusarcha doma wana kunda tama. Randi i chawa tongbola johnny ku. Yuma wama nibo lora waisha waga shi ching. Ta kunju stak miki grabul moko. Kachichu ita bodunga. Dolba bank, wale Uganda naru chuchut. Mole shia punga, bola wana chikne. Ma mule slimo, poda da na 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 kumbist, mule rabes. Ronda di hotonga kun hagabi. Wana kumbes, ching bala mule, tungking ba nunotek. Tung ning chatu kunne, mule rabes. Genchopa chawi ti chok twiz yun kun. Watu yama kama wana henak nek. Bugra shak kunti chi wa mchawa. Dong abuk shami no nok. Bona na kachu. Kicha badwang. Wanga kum kiba bu mule ra. Kakin chak nawa gawa bakon. Dong kiba nukun nek. Tong abuk sha um nag nong. Dumpa ku palia muka pata, puna na jaku i kung kono pule maraci ko. Tung na bungsha nuya kava volpa mulje kuna. Kava dumpa ka palia mo na pata, bona na kachu. Ying kin kun no ba mule raci kun. Tung na bungsha nuyang. We ti men bo rang thong. Muli ra on shanturing um ni patoga wanga chon zi tse. Ika krotu haku jije, atu yama kama wuna henak nek. Mickey. 
Kiki Grabble Moko, Kachichu Ita Motunga, Dolma Bank, Wale Uganda Nalu Chuchut, Mogesha Punga, Bola Wana Chikne. Kavadumpa Kapalia Monapata, Bona Nakachu, Yin Kin Kun Noba Mule Rachi Kun, Tong Nabun Shanu Yang, Kipuna, Bona Nakichu, Kin Ba Mule Radwana, Tong Kin Bano Kunok Nek. Kava numpa kum pialia monokata, ranga kun bis kin no moruat, kakin chana guana bokon. Chikun ita haudonga, yikin kuno pa mulera chikun. Svimo podonar, li haudonga kun kabe. Shagji kina lorcha wata mwana, kin kun shishikin, ni kin kun ban mulara jikun. Wama kun bes, ching pala mule, tune rana nuprata, donko searcha domatama? Ucha haudonga ya fulge. Ya chisca do punta casa, paca, pana auto. Moca o danya foki, ya chisca do punta cacas paca, pana auto. Tacum justa, miki, grabble moco, cachichu y tabo dunga, dolba bank, waleo ganda naru, chuchut, bolisha punga, bola wana chip, eh. Mule slimo, puta da 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 da, cool beast, mule rabes. Gigi, hakuji, lorcha, king kuna, da mule rigi kun. Kaji chutu la podo to punta casa da bonk. Aita haudanga o alaganto da naga to chuchu mukiti chokai. Ti umpa kita. We team and bon rank thong. Mule ra un shanturing um ni patoga wanga chonzi te. Ika krotu haku jije, watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Kutong kimba, noko nyeksa kuchang. Kipona, ona nangkacho. Kimba mule ratwana, ta hupa botenya kuchucho pita chicho naisa odunga. Tau kum justak mike grabel moga. Tot pata vun tua elagam do da naga chuchut. Run di hau tonga ton kimbam nan kongek. Wanga kongbes jim falamul kun hun kabe. Jibe dua nane bobo. Ton nan un sha nan yang. Mucci ti toa ki jiji haku. Taoish mana oish. Tong jone ya haku no. Mule ra yonu na ze. Jiji nui bedo a nai taoish mul. Tong abuk sha unne dong. Kara vol pa mul si. Kuma na bak mule ra. La boda na wenki es matoma. Inkin slimo podo na mulera chikun. No va rumbi hautunga kuhun kabi. Chiyo kakol bolera. Kien kun jo pesha. No va mulera ji. Chari yo tora ji. Ay tapia. Kachi cho nai ta hautunga. Tau kum justak mi te grabel moga, ji bedo a nane bobo, ton nan un sha nun yang. Ton patora smatelea, he he, a shuta. Ta ji cho nai fa o dunga, tau kum justak mi te grabel moga, ji bedo a nane bobo, Tung namun sha nun yang. Heh! 
judges kadon puta kasamu baka ho 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 mo chao donga ya kaki to nai sao donga tau kum justak mi ke grabe mogo la boda na winkis makoma Inkin slimo podona mulera chikun Tonga buksha unne nong Kara gol pamuzli La boda na winkis makoma Inkin slimo podona mulera chikun Paris mana res Tong jone ya hakono Tonga tora smakilia Hehe Ashuta Tumira manu prata dunkyo Sercha doma toma Ako chikopa Kino mulera kinpaja Kaji chonai thao dunga Tau kum justak mi ke grabe mogo La boda na winkis makoma Inkin slimo podona mulera chikun Rundi hao tonga tong kimba nang konke Wana kumbes chimpa ya mul La boda na winkis makoma Inkin slimo podona mulera chikun Chiyo kakol mulera Conjo pesha, no va a moler allí. Terrio toranchi. Tomba toras, Matelia. Tava. Paris, mana res. Conjo me ha hakono. Mulera yo no maze. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of our victims. Tumira manu prata tunkyo, sercha toma toma. Tava vui pamuji, kumana. Okay, I don't know about Devik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. Kaji cho nai thao dunga. Tau kum justak mi ke grabe mogo. Tonga tong kimba nang konke Wana kumbes chimpa ya mui Chibedu anani bobo Tong babu unsha nondang Muchi tito aki to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Just a sec, boys. Zalbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. Kiyokaku! Kimba muli rab wana ji! Kuyami juski chika nai! Kuba baska dwana chichopa muska! Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu! You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Chupasa! Kimba muli rab wana ji! Kaba volpa murji guma ya! I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. 
It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the Lower City. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Uchuapenki, Ciao basso, chi non morirà nel dubbo, con chi va, non connexa. Pato da Yakuri con cala Gigi, in cui in coca, con chi tu ha nagi, sarcat agi in cotune, chi non morirà, con smiglia. In cui in coca, pato da Yakuri con cala Gigi. Kimba no konik dota. Patisa, patisa. Kakin cha na wa bagaon. Bagwa shon konti machi tum. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. Then Wench tried to cut me with a vibro blade. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. And I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to pay, either with a life or 200 credits to buy my forgiveness. You can do that if you want, but I doubt she's got 200 credits. That's a lot, and she's just a working girl. But that's the brakes, right? If I let her get away with it, I'll look... Well, I guess you may be right. Besides, 
I've noticed some of the girls around here are giving me the cold shoulder since all this started. Okay, you win. Dia can live. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the hidden back's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Volker gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. My loyalty's not for sale. I've been with the Hidden Becks for years, and I'm not going to desert Gadon now just because everyone is turning against him. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vultures or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The Hidden Becks are watching you. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker Spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Volkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcans stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. 
He's offered her up as the Volker's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila, then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop Race. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. The Swoop Race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulker base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Ready. Oh. Sure. Oh. You asked for this. Oh. Here. Oh. Oh. I Yes? You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sarcha! It's you a penki! What a da wa ma muli ra! Ken chun chu pa shak! No wa buli muli ra ji! Joni tun! Turji chi wi ita do! Bola una dicek! Bala muri slimo wanga kun bisching! I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here! Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. 
I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan. Ready. What? Oh. 
Ага. You asked for this. Sure. No problem. Got it. Uh-huh. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone. But I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. You asked for this! Yes? Ready. Yes? What?
What? Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll! Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Please have pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a few credits to make our lives easier. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. Sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here, and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... Less dark somehow. It's it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. It's... it's just... Oh, okay. 
Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. Thank <laughs> you.